All right, so we're at hashtag one, two, three, four, five. We're at five, and we're learning the third string. So just like the others, um, if you're just tuning in, we kind of build on the previous strings, and we learn the new notes, and we build on what we learned from strings one and two. Um, so we're now on the third string. One, two, three. We call this, appropriately enough, the G string. The G string. So it's open G. Um, and the other note on this will be our first look at 3-2, third string, second fret, and that's your A. So look at page 67, 67, and it's introducing the G, and you can see it's on the second line of our treble clef staff, second line from the bottom, that's your G line, and as you can see on the three open strings, we'll be playing that exercise on the three open strings, three and two and one. So it starts out in the first measure, um, third string, G, 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 G. Second string will be, I mean, the second measure will be the second string, B. And then the third measure, open one. And then finish with open two, open three. So when you learn it, and again, um, you're going to start to see some of the notes not there. And if you want to look back and um, identify the notes, what they are, or what string number, what fret number they are, by all means. Um, it'll just slow you down a little bit, but it, if, if it'll help you on the back end, fine. But here is three open strings once you uh, have, a time, have a chance to um, practice it. And when you record it, it'll be something like this. And one, two, three, four. steps and big leaps. So it's using that G note and then expanding on the second string and third, the second string and the first string that we've learned. Okay, and again, learn it two measures at a time, add the third and fourth, put it together and build on that. So after you've had a chance to build it, here's kind of the finished, finished, finished product. One, two, ready, and. line you see the half note which is two beats and then you see um, something that doesn't look like a note but it just looks like a little box well that's our first look at a two measure rest so you, you have two measures two beats not a two measure a two beat rest so you have a two beat um, moment of silence there um, I think that's about it so that's 67, go on to 69. Okay, and as you notice, we only have five songs to do for this week, and um, case in point, page 69, uh, because that is a long song, you have to work at it. Um, some of it's pretty easy. I'd say the, uh, th uh, the fourth line, one, two, three, four, the fourth line is where it gets a little tough um, you have to spend some time on the little kinks that you come across. Um, so that third and fourth measure of the fourth line, um, you know, once you figure out, okay, it's high G. So you work it really slow like that and then kind of build it up to... And remember, you're not going to play it perfectly. Uh, that's not what I'm striving for here. I just want you to understand where your fingers are going. Make sure you use the proper fingers, not one, one finger. Okay, and I definitely will be counting off if you're just using one finger. Um, so, and I will, you know, let you know if you're doing it wrong. But you got to make sure that you use the proper finger in the right position. And if you make a mistake. Uh, the note didn't come out or you didn't get your finger down or you just have a slippage for a beat or two, that's alright. 
um, you just keep on going, okay? Because when I'm uh, demonstrating it for you, I don't play it perfectly, but it just gives you an idea of, of the direction that I want you to go in, okay? So here's Alouette Day after you spend um, some time on it, and I hope that you do, okay? Effort really goes a long way, okay? All right, so let's see what happens here. Um, oh, and whenever you see the italicized tight notes, um, like for the first measure, <clears throat> you'll see that it's landing on the uh, third line. It's not the uh, note B, it's um, a strum note. And you can see the, um, the chord that we're strumming just above it. So like the first measure, you play the note C, um, the note C, and then you strum on the chord C. So basically what I'm saying is the italicized notes are the strum chords that we learned. So remember the four chords, C, G7, G, and that D7. Um, and it'll indicate which one, uh, which chord that you need to strum. All right, so anyway, with that in mind, here is Alouette. One, two, ready, go. tell every once in a while I don't get my finger down on that fret where the C doesn't come out clear enough so but you just keep going like I just did okay so but you get the idea all right so that's 69 let's go to 70 <clears throat> and it introduces the um, second space a which is third string one two three and second fret which is our first look at the second fret because um, the uh, strings one and two did uh, the first fret and the third fret for each string. But now the A makes us use the middle finger. Remember, use the middle finger. As it's indicated, you can see the two. And remember, two is this one. One, two, the middle finger. One, two. So use your middle finger. It'll be very important, especially when you play these songs. It'll make it easier to play when you throw that middle finger down. So um, do what the song in the case. Okay. So as you get to A is easy, this is our first look at the whole note. Whole note is, looks like a hole and is held out for four beats. Um, you see that at the end of this A is easy song. So you just hold it out for four beats. Here's A is easy. One, two, three, four. the A needs to be closer to the fret and these are just perfect examples how close to the fret you need to be. It doesn't sound good when you move it down toward the fret, it sounds better. So try to push down closer to the fret. And I know if you play a lot and you haven't been playing a lot, your fingers really hurt and um, you get lazy on the frets because you're like, oh, it hurts very much. Well, if it hurts, then um, take a rest for a little while and then uh, come back playing later. So that is A is easy. Um, and again, take your time on that. I know that it's it's going across some notes, especially using the new fingers, uh, especially the middle finger. Um, so practice up to that speed. Remember, this is just a demonstration of how you should be recording yourself. And I want to let you know how these songs sound too. Okay. 
All right, taking a walk. Taking a walk is just you're going from G to A to B to C to D and then going back down when it says to. <clears throat> and then you got your uh, mysterious D7 on the second line uh, to strum there at, on the second measure. All right, so eventually when you work and figure out what you're playing, here is close to what you should sound like. One, two, three, four. Rest and. trouble getting to the fret okay so just as long as you you know you're in that area I'm good all right that D7 which is always a it's hard to go sometimes from um, and get it down at the right time <clears throat> but do the best you can I'd appreciate that and really technically it's not about the chords right now it's all about the notes G and A and B and C and D and E and F and G um, so that's what I'm looking for. All right, moving on to page 72. Orly, an old Elvis Presley song. Uh, notice on the first line, uh, again, page 72, Orly, A-U-R-A, Lee. On the first line, there's that repeat sign at the very end. See, with the dots, um, goes, you should be able to, you should be, you're supposed to, there's the word, supposed to go back to the beginning on the repeat, but we don't have to, all right? So, um, you can tell there's a leap. And as you play it, you'll need to make sure that your thumb is hitting the right string. So that's why I wanted to show you, you know, you got to be careful which string you're hitting. You may finger this right, but then you might miss the string <coughs> number on your thumb. So, do it as slow as possible if you want to. So, like, you want to go slow. For accuracy, I'm good with that too. So it'll be one, two, three, four. So you're welcome to go slow, um, so you can you can think about what you're doing. I always tell uh, when I teach uh, the piano and guitar, um, don't go faster than your brain can think. Okay, I mean your 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 actions are like you want to go fast, but your brain is not able to pick up which note and which finger and all that. So don't go faster than your brain can think. All right, then we move on to the last page for this week. Uh, she'll be coming around the mountain. Yeah, we all know that folk tune. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. But well, we don't have to go that fast. We certainly don't have the um, accompaniment. We're just playing a strum and then playing the notes provided. Now, notice um, we've got some tricks. We've got on the first line when you get to the C chord strumming, <clears throat> the italicized notes, it's on two, three, four, one. So it won't feel right when you're doing this um, and she'll be coming is is what we call pickup notes on beats three and four so just it doesn't feel right when you um, play this for the first time so um, if you want to slow it down you can play it like this one two three four <laughs>
Okay. Um, good luck getting all your songs done for this week. Thank you.